Howdy world, Zippy Trev here, and uh, sorry Bronny, I will not complain about our gorgeous weather up here, so roll the intro. Hi, Zippy Trev here, and welcome to my channel, um, hope you get something out of it. Yeah, sorry Bronny, yesterday, um, yeah, I know you had it pretty hard down where you are, so no, I won't complain about our beautiful weather up here in paradise, so anyway, well, this is it, this is the next day, I've just put some gender neutral fluid in uh, in the transmission as we're not allowed to call it tranny fluid anymore with these righteous fucking assholes so we don't have tranny fluid anymore we have gender neutral fluid so i just got to trim this tag off I've spotted just get rid of that so i don't know if i've got the right amount of fluid in there yet so i'm gonna have to start it which i'm gonna do now and then we're gonna go for its very first test drive. And am I nervous? Fuck yeah, I'm nervous. Oh God, look at all the, look at all the stains on my roof. Jesus. Someone's been eating on my roof. All right, yeah. Let's put you guys here. First start up. Oops. She sounds nice and quiet. So I know the timing's completely wrong, so I'm just gonna take her out now and take her for a bit of a run. Um, right out, so I know my timing's completely out. I'm just gonna take her for a bit of a run and just take her for a drive, see how she feels, and I might take my spanners and screwdrivers with me. Also take some water with me, just in case, just in case. So Radio Worlds, uh, I'll catch you when we're about to get out on the road. Later. Radio Worlds, this is it. I think I got her idling a bit low. Anyway, I'm just gonna sit you guys there. I did have a bit of a play with the uh, timing, just a little bit, but I've got no idea really what's going on. All right, first trip out, let's go. Oh, she's pinging like a bitch. Oh yeah, she's pinging all right. All right, pull up and do me first adjustment. Might do it just here. All right, she's pinging, so I've got a uh, She's pinging, so I've got to retard the timing. Right, oh well, just done a quick timing adjustment. And she definitely, she needs some more uh, gender neutral fluid. Um, it's only just showing on the stick, so I'm not going very far. I'm just going to quick run down the road here. Come back, put it in the drive, put in some more fluid. She changes at pretty low RPM. All right, we're at 60. Feels smooth. Temp's looking good. I'm gonna go turn around, go back home. Put some more transmission fluid in. Both temp gauges are looking really good. They're looking actually identical. And there was no ping in the motor when I just floored it then. Uh, the automatic's changing at a very different time. The automatic's changing like really, a like really low RPM. And look at those two temp gauges, both sitting perfectly. We're not gonna 
try a higher operating thermostat. We're going to leave it exactly alone. We're not going to fuck with it. That's a good temperature. You go 160. 160 uh, Fahrenheit is a good temperature. Car feels smooth. It really does. It feels beautiful. Still don't think my timing's right. I've really backed the timing right off. Like, retarded it a long way because it was pinging like pretty hard. So I've retarded it a really long way. I'm going to put another litre of uh, gender neutral fluid in. Brother Ross, have you replaced your sign up here already, mate? Um, and when did you do that? I certainly didn't hear you calling me on the CB or anything, so you've definitely replaced that sign, I can tell. Brother Ross. Hey, mate. Alright, let's just get back. Look at these temps, beautiful. I'm going to throw some transmission fluid in and then we're going out for a, and I'm going to put the air filter back on. I'm going out for a longer drive now. Still doesn't feel 100%. Something doesn't still feel right. But anyway, radio. So you guys can stay here. Transmission fluid in there now. Whoa. Oh, and on some other really, really good news. On some other good news. Big face in his red dunny door here. He hasn't been back out in the road since since that copper got him. What last week or whenever that was? Sorry, I'm getting all tangled up. So yeah, he hasn't been out in the road for uh, over a week. More the car hasn't moved, so the copper's definitely fucking got him. Thank fuck for that that time. Let's go. Oh, she's got a nice note to it, I know that much. Sounds good. Real crackle out the back. Right. We're at 60. Both temp gauges are running good. Pretty much the same. Imagine if it was just the water pump this whole time that the only thing really wrong with this car was the goddamn water pump. Oh well, because the uh, gauges are both running pretty good. No, oh, the left's still hotter. Well, I don't hear any pinging. shitload of power that I used to feel so it doesn't feel as powerful as it did. Sounds quiet though, she's running nice and quiet. Definitely not an overheating problem going on there anymore. Oh my god. No, there's no smile on my face just yet. That's why, because I can't smile for shit. And I'm still not sure everything's right timing, I'm pretty sure that still needs mucking around with, I think it needs to, it needs to be uh, advanced a bit more now, I've retarded it a long way back so I need to start bringing it forward. 
All right, I'm at my little turnaround point. I'm trying to get under the bond, have a quick look, make sure there's no water coming out where it shouldn't be, make sure there's no oil leaking where it shouldn't be. I'll take yous with me. Gauge is fucking leaking there, that's only a drip. No oil leaks, no water leaks. It certainly has a funny sound. Certainly sounds a lot different than it used to. All right, just better check this radiator. No pressure, plenty of water. I need to get up and give my car a good clean, get all this oil and shit off it. Righty -o. I wonder if I can put you in a position where you can see me work my stick. All right. A little button here. Well, she's definitely got a strange sound to it. So I'm going to stick you. Right, let's hope you can see. Got a good view. So I'm in drive, and I've got me button up for first. Criticise me. I'm, look, I know you guys are a lot smarter than I am, you know, and and I'm sure what you're telling me was all for my own good and so forth. But at the end of the day, I had no way of shipping the motor out to anywhere. I could only do it all in house. I could only do what I could do in house. I certainly listened to uh, a lot of the comments and read all the comments and made up my own decision after that. 
So at the end of the day, okay, left bank still running hotter than the right bank. So that hasn't changed, but at the end of the day, the car's back on the road, it feels good. Uh, I guess now it's just a matter of time, like uh, time as far as how, how many miles I get before maybe something starts going wrong or things start changing, don't know. Um, I'm going to try and look after it the best I can and just drive it as it is my car. She sounds quiet, she sounds good. It is, it's going. My car's actually going. It starts, it runs, it drives, it goes. For how long? This is the question that remains to be seen. So I can't wait to put on the big bright yellow extractors. I'm really getting uh, looking forward to that. Whether I haven't poured it out or not, that's a big load. That's a big load. So whether I get my extractors ported or whether I just have to just put on there and be done with. There's only a difference between the temp gauges still. I've still got that big ass coil to try and work out how the fuck I'm going to put that on here somewhere. I don't even know where that coil's going to go. It's like a brick. It is huge. Um, I'm only running a standard coil at the moment, um, which is an oil filled coil. Probably pump about 13, 14 volts into that coil. Not good. I don't want to cook it. The coil that comes with the distributor killed that for some reason. It just died. I'd have no idea why. It just, it just failed for no reason. So. Right, just a little run round the back of the tip here. Um, I'm gonna drop in the super eat, grab some groceries. Oh, she has a strange sound out the back. Oh my god, that's a crackle. It scared me, I didn't know what that was. Alright, so I don't feel overly a lot of power. Just get you set up here again. Try for some basic driving using the uh, up and down button there. strange noise out the back. I'm not used to that sound. That's like, holy shit. Unfortunately, at the moment, it's more sound than go. It's just lagging power. It really does feel like this motor is just not up to um, full power. Radio Worlds, oh, Radio Worlds, I'm going to do some shopping, I'll catch you later, so, okay, later, bye. Radio Worlds, done my shopping. I've just uh, advanced the timing just a little bit more, just to see if it make any difference. Feels a bit different, and that's where it's going to go, I'm just going to keep advancing, 
advancing until she sort of starts pinging and then when it starts pinging I just start backing it off and, and then I just sort of adjust the timing till I feel she's at the most responsive part. Right, now I need to get home right now. I've got ice cream on board that it is melting in this beautiful weather up here in paradise. Changes, that's a better change too, under acceleration. I don't know if you can hear that out the back. Anyhow, well, yeah, well, she's got a few strange sounds that right out well. She's got a few strange sounds that I'm just not used to, but. Uh, Look, it does feel a little bit underpowered for what I was expecting, but uh, I probably still haven't got my timing right yet. I just advanced the timing um, while I was parked up at the front of the hardware there. It does feel a bit more responsive. Look, other than that, everything's quiet. The motor's quiet. Everything's running beautiful. So I've um, got to be pretty happy with that. So, Radio Worlds, thank you to everyone. Thank you to everyone and all your support. Um, I really appreciate it. The boat is back on the road and it is going. I guess we just have to wait and see for how long. Um, and I've still got some like fine tuning to do. Definitely, um, I'll be playing with the, the distributor a little bit more, fine tuning it. Then I've got to work out how to put that big ass coil on there. Other than that, car's running bloody fine. So, wow, it's done. All that heartache, all that hard work, it's all start. It's all has paid off. So, um, yeah. All right, well, uh, all the hard work's paid off. It's done. Um, now it's just a matter of driving it and see how long I get before it doesn't. So, Rod Air Worlds, um, got to be pretty happy with that. So, stay safe, keep your knees in the breeze, and I'll catch you later. Bye.